I've been better. You know, Larry, I don't think it was by accident that we went to her house. Did you know Naomi before this? Naomi was a previous friend of mine back in high that school. That was your only friend back in high school. I had to go to public school after my father died. And it was 11 years of homeschooling, wasn't it? Yeah, because of my age, they placed me in the 10th grade. I walked into school that first day, and there she was. Why don't you call anymore? It's been like, what, two years since we last spoke? Well, I, uh, I went and got married. Wait, and, uh, wait you're married? Well, I, I was married. Wait, what? When? I mean, how come you didn't tell me? I just want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it? Well, I got something I want to talk about. Were you two an item oh, back in the no. day? Oh no, we weren't. Yeah, no. We had an item. no. Yeah. Or... I guess we weren't. What? Well, this is extremely awkward. No, no, we we never we never dated. Want to tell him why? No. Oh my God, Larry, you, you haven't changed. I mean, you're still this closed-off little turtle that just <clears throat> won't come out of its shell. You're like. Afraid to speak? I'm not, I'm, I'm not afraid to speak. Then why don't you want to talk about anything? Yeah, I'm just going to show myself the door. Really? You're just going to walk out? Yeah. Mm. <sighs> don't worry, Naomi. He'll be back eventually. It's a bow tie, isn't it? I don't, don't want to go no more. I don't even know what to say right now. <laughs> um, it's just a tie, yeah. It's just a tie. Okay. I don't even know what to say. Okay. Let's, let's go. All right. You really outdid yourself this time, Larry. Why at night, though? Well, there's no kids, so... I mean, I'm not a weirdo, like... <sighs> Wait, why do, you, why do you have alcohol? This is why I have alcohol. Right now, this is why. So I you just, just you just carry a flask, maybe? Isn't it like illegal? Uh don't know, but yeah, I carry a flask when I'm with you. I don't I don't drink, so. Uh this is gonna put some hair on your chest. Come on. Meet me at the jungle gym. What is this?
your life then you'll manifest these peculiar hobbies of doing things off a list the whole the list the list is saved my life oh that has the, 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 list, the list the list gave your life purpose somewhere along the way somewhere along the way you lost your purpose for it you forgot the true is. And I don't know what it was. Was it the passing of a father? Was it was a force? I don't know. It, it, it doesn't uh, matter. Uh, it, it, it doesn't matter. What matters is moving forward, getting the negativity out of your life. Hey, listen. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, you got Naomi back? Oh, no. No, no. <laughs> She doesn't, she doesn't know me, she doesn't want me, she doesn't understand. What? She doesn't, I don't know. Larry, listen. You got Naomi, you got a good woman, you gotta go and fight for that boy. You can't let that slip through your fingers. You gotta fight for that man. You gotta fight. Can I have some of this? I think about it. I think about it. Okay. You want some more? Okay. Do, trade? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> oh. oh, Larry, you're blind, man. I, I can see. My mama said I can see. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, oh. kept getting prettier and prettier, didn't you? You didn't want me around your new friends. Are you still holding on to that? Larry, I invited you everywhere. You're wrong. You didn't invite me anywhere. Besides, you didn't want me to say yes. You just you just invited me because you felt sorry for me. You didn't want me to say yes. Besides, you, you invited me to parties I wasn't even invited to. That's exactly like, why I invited you. You don't understand. Nobody 
wanted Peabody there. Oh or, my goodness. No, see, you didn't want Peabody there. After that one year, no one even cared. I mean, you, you let it eat you alive and then blames everyone else for you being an outcast. When the truth is, you found a sacred little place in your loneliness. I was tired of being an outcast, Larry. All right, I wanted more friends. I wanted to explore. I mean, yes, did I become a cheerleader and make new friends? Yes. Did I also date that guy that told everyone you pissed all on yourself? Yes, yes, and it was pretty fucked up, I admit, but I apologized. I apologized countless times, but you just could never forgive me, could you? You know, I used to think you were that way because your father died, but no. That was just you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm me. And it's that, so that... sad. It's so sad because you never realized that the only person I truly wanted to be with was you. Thank you.